Hi, I'm Karmi Shammas. I'm your astrologer. Today I will talk about Wednesday, the 26th of June. Today the moon is in Pisces. This is a great step um, for beautiful op opportunities if you're uh, a water sign. If you're Pisces, if you're Cancer, if you're Scorpio, this beautiful kind of wave will continue till Friday 9 a.m. Universal Time. So let's break down this day. Aries, it's not a very exciting day if you have big plans if you need to if you need great energy today uh, the kind of energy is quite quite low uh, and it's quite very slim meaning that you really need to have a plan b around you and people of great uh, uh, energy also around you to help um, to help you um, but if you're on your own you need to prepare a plan b Moving to Taurus, I love this day. It's quite friendly. The this this beautiful water kind of energy. It's beautiful between the two luminaries, between the sun and the moon. So this can be very helpful, quite helpful. And it seems that everybody around you is available for help to give you advice, to give you some recommendations, also for you in return to also collaborate. But because planet Mars is near your birthday, please be extra careful if you were born between the third and the 6th of May. Gemini, uh, so you're under the spotlights again. What's new? This is uh, going to be the story of your life this year. So in all cases, you should excel. There's nothing to worry about. Definitely, you need to be under the spotlights at one time or another if you really want to become famous, if you want to, uh, to fulfill some great uh, uh, projects. So today is one of them. No need to worry about anything except some moodiness or maybe some uh, maybe uh, some uh, some um, uh, some challenges that you would feel coming from others or maybe you just imagining it so don't react accordingly this can be a very successful day depending how you handle your own energy uh, your own reactions or your own actions also uh, you can be quite lucky if you were born between 28th and the 30th of june of may excuse me cancer what can i say this is a great great uh, encouraging and a very favorable day it is very happy it's very exciting it's very insightful and definitely very rewarding um, many of the good opportunities uh, should come your way if they are yours they should come your way and you should they should knock on your door all of you especially if you were born uh, in the month of june also if you were born uh, on the first second third even fourth of july Moving to Leo, Leo, this is um, maybe it's an easier day than Monday and Tuesday, so it can be a busy day. Uh, things are, uh, you know, you are called to get things done. You are called to uh, put things back on track. I think everything should be fine and ready for you uh, to move on, but you have to double check on everything. Remember, the sun is not helping that much. And besides this water energy and you are a, a fire energy, you need to give it some like some some wood, you know, like some fuel to to move on. Uh, whatever you do, double check on, on it, especially if you were born on the 23rd, 24th of July. Virgo, so the moon opposes your sign. And remember, we have Saturn and Neptune there all the time. So this can be a challenging day. It can put you maybe face to face with a professor. It can put you face to face with someone in authority, a parent or a maybe a partner. So you have to take it easy. Maybe you are right. Maybe you are right, but maybe they are also right. Maybe both of you are right. So what you have to do is give and take. Don't look for trouble because trouble is looking for you. So this is the trick. Stay away from trouble, especially if you were born on the 12th, 13th of September. September. Libra, so this is a long day. There are things that you have to do. You are under the spotlights. Whatever you do, whatever you say, whatever you write, whatever you produce, you know, or create is going to be kind of um, uh, scrutinized. It will be under the spotlights. So make sure that whatever you do or say or whatever should be clean, transparent, and uh, and at least, if not positive, to be neutral. Don't look for negativity um, to be produced at all in this beautiful uh, this day because you are under the spotlights. Whatever you do can push you forward and 
upward to maybe to 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 being famous or to being very successful so don't ruin it there can be some issues probably related to one of your um, loved ones maybe they need help maybe they they make some calls maybe they are a little bit demanding uh, so okay uh, let's move now to Scorpio, what a beautiful, gorgeous day, very exciting day, very helpful day. Everything should be gorgeous. You're one of the strongest, uh, most uh, lucky or the luckiest signs today. Everything is possible. Just make a wish and all these trines will start working, working and whirling around, you know, swirling around to give you whatever you want. This is a beautiful, gorgeous day for all of um, Scorpios, especially if you were born in the month of October. As for Sagittarius, it is a family or personal issue. It's all in the mind. What you have to do is move along and stay away from trouble. There are things that need to be actually um, looked on. Um, maybe you should uh, pay attention to some paperwork. Uh, something is missing, whatever it is. Um, try not to ruin any possibility of, of success. This is a day that can be kind of... Um, exhausting you know maybe mentally exhausting most of all and uh, you also need to pay attention to some health issues whether they or health papers related to you or one of your uh, the close close one close close people to you let's move now to uh, capricorn it is a day that will give you great uh, super strong powerful uh, ideas thoughts uh, this is a day where you can actually multitask. This is a day when you can actually move around easily. This is a day when you can actually cross uh, miles and miles and miles. And uh, you may feel a little bit exhausted, but nevertheless, you can be very efficient. What you have to do is make sure that whatever you say, because whatever you say is quite strong, you know, it has a lot of substance. Whatever you say, make sure that you don't hurt uh, anyone intentionally or unintentionally because you come on maybe kind of strong so you are a very strong personality today moving to aquarius aquarius so the moon is in the second house this is something that you can move on you can actually depend on rely on to move forward definitely you can be a winner there's nothing wrong with this day except that you definitely need to make sure that things are are moving in the right way we don't want to move in the wrong way because things may actually um delay your 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 uh, your progress later on so whatever you do today make sure that it doesn't affect you it doesn't it doesn't affect your status you don't want to lose anything you don't want to you lose credits you don't want to lose credibility you don't want to lose money you don't want to waste or lose time make sure that you're winning but not on the expense of others okay um you can be quite lucky if you were born between 27th and the 29th of January. Let's uh, move now to Pisces with the moon in your sign with great trines coming from the sun, uh, which is in Cancer, Venus and Mercury also in Cancer. This is a beautiful day to, to actually uh, rely on. It's like the you're on a, on a, on a raft, you know, in the, in the middle of the ocean. And this is like your saving, uh, uh, rock. So this is what you have to do. This is a, a beautiful time, wonderful day to move forward with big, big, big hopes. Uh, if I were you, I would work on the most difficult thing. I would keep calling. I would send emails. I would double check that I get answers. Uh, don't leave a stone without moving it. So this is a beautiful day very accomplishing day a green light go ahead go ahead keep walking keep walking don't give up let's uh, wrap it up with one on the 26th this is a great year this year can be um a year to travel a year to change everything about your projects or to make your projects come true it is a year that will um if you build on it on a solid foundation you can get great results in summertime also in in november and then you will have the biggest surprises in june july uh, 2025 so this is one of those years that can help you actually uh, move mountains and get whatever you want basically this is it wishing you all the best see you tomorrow enjoy bye bye